We are back at TAC Room Inc. It's between Mifflinburg and Lewisburg. And joining us right now is the longtime owner, Eva Linke. And Eva, how long have you been in business? Well, we've been around, Bob, for 25 years. And you cater to what? English and Western riding and also regular lifestyle clothing. You mentioned regular lifestyle clothing. That's for anybody, right? What do you have? We are the destination store for anything that's area or cinch, Bob. So if you're looking for shirts, jeans, boots, we're it. This week we're going to talk about Western riding. So what do you offer in the store for that? Well, primarily tack. So we have Western saddles, head stalls, reins, horse blankets, boots for people, jeans, shirts, hats, you name it, we have it. You mentioned boots. What type of boots do you offer? We primarily deal in Ariat and Cinch, and then we also offer Twisted X Casual Western shoes. So where's Tack Room Inc. located, and how can people find out about you? Well, Bob, we'd love to have people come to the store. It's really important in today's market, but we also have a large website presence at www.tackroominc.com but we're within easy driving distance from all of Northeast and Central Pennsylvania. Hi, my name is Paul. And I'm Jen. And we're the Treases of Treese Horse Trailer Sales located in Lewisburg, Pennsylvania. And we do the sport of cowboy mounted shooting, where we ride horses on horseback and we shoot the balloons with single action 45 revolvers. We kind of uh, jumped in or fell into this sport, I guess you could say, and then we jumped and leaped uh, after we got into it. We had a horse that just wasn't working with what she was doing and um, switched her to, to this sport and she took right to it and uh, and I ran from there and I, I kind of sucked Jen in and I'll let her tell you how she got started. So I started off riding Hunt Seat and then I saw Paul doing this and it looked so much fun so I had to get my own horse and try it out and we do it every weekend and have a blast doing it as a family. Competition for this, there are uh, six levels, gender split and then senior and regular age group split. Uh, they start at level one, that's where everybody starts out, level one, whether you're a regular shooter, uh, regular age, or a senior. And then as you get wins, qualified wins, enough people in the class, you move up through to levels. Uh, Jen currently is a ladies three. She's been doing this for about a year and a half, so she's moving up through pretty quick. Um, on my other horse, I've moved up through to a men's six, which is the top level you can get to. Uh, we've done it in a little over two years, uh, two years and one month. We have to do a pattern. There's 70 patterns that they can choose from, and we go out and they pick a pattern. We shoot four patterns a day, and if you miss a balloon, it's a five-second penalty because you're timed. So the fastest horse with a clean run wins. So here we go. Gonna get him moving forward. He's moving nicely. We're gonna go into our first strong shot here around this barrel, slow him down. Shoot strong, strong. Keep going around the barrel. Shoot strong. We're going to go up. This is a gate. We're going to shoot off and strong. Come around what they call a rundown barrel. We're going to shoot all of our balloons off. And that was a nice, clean, easy run. We're going to take him out, let him stretch his legs, calm him down. Whoa. And a nice, even stop. All right, so this is Jen. She's riding her horse fancy. Uh, it's a Penn State three year old. She's going to do a, what they call a warm up circle. Typically we have a little bit bigger arena and a little more room to do a warm-up circle. You don't actually go into the pattern, but uh, she's the warm-up circle and she takes her into the course. Uh, she's going to shoot the first balloon strong, second balloon strong, third balloon strong. We have an eagle flying in the background. Fourth off, fifth balloon shot strong. She's going to turn the rundown barrel and she's going to shoot all five rundown balloons as an off shot. And we call it an off shot because you're reaching across your body. If we call it a strong shot, it's because you're reaching your arm straight out strong. Uh, she shot all 10 balloons, went through all the gates so there were no penalties, and uh, nice clean run, Jen. Good job. Who's the best shot? <laughs> no comment. It, it really, it just depends on the day. It, it's, uh, the more these guns, uh, they kind of become an extension of your hand in a sense. Um, Mine are totally an extension of my hand. If I, if I switch to a different set of guns, I can feel that there's a difference. 
Uh, Jen, I have way more shots. I have probably 20, 30,000 shots fired out of my gun. Jen's probably down around the 10,000 mark. So really, as, as she's getting there, I mean, she's really, really getting there. As she gets better, and the more she shoots, the better she's gonna get. It's, it's really coming along good for her. I'm excited. I, it's fun for me to help coach my wife, and she actually listens to me. Most wives don't listen to their husbands, and vice versa. Uh, we do a little bit of bickering about some stuff, but she really listens to me really well, so it, it works out. We like Tack Room Inc. because we can get everything from our boots, our spurs, our jeans, to our shirt. Uh, all sorts of sizes, all sorts of, all sorts of fits. I'm wearing a set of cinch jeans uh, that we got at the Tack Room. Jen's wearing a set of Miss Me's that she got at the Tack Room, and then she's going with the Cruel Girl shirt, I'm going with the cinch shirt. Uh, everything from a nice extra small for me, being a slender fit, to you know, the, the bigger sizes for, for the larger people. Um, it just really works, it's a nice selection and everything. For the horses, oh my gosh, uh, if you can't find it, I don't know if you're going to. If, you, if, if she doesn't have it, she can definitely get it. She's got a set of, uh, I'm gonna try a new set of, it's called Wolf, W-O-O-F, boots. Uh, she stocks a lot of that stuff there. Um, she's got a set coming for me that uh, we're gonna be able to fit on my horse. Uh, that's the, the boots that go down below. Um, it's just extra protection for the horse. Um, everything from, from the boots to the splint boots, all the way up to the saddle, the saddle pads, the head stalls, um, earplugs, everything you pretty much see on the horse, uh, Tack Room can, can get for us. We shoot with some people that are 83, a guy that's 83 years old, so I say every day, if, I, if I'm still riding a horse like he rides a horse at 83 years old, I'm golden. I, I'm, I'm gonna be happy. It's a fun family sport and it keeps you fit and healthy, so definitely wanna do it. Coming up next on The Great Outdoors, they have all types of bikes at Sicklers. Plus, we'll go inside the Silverado for a McIntyre Chevrolet.